Good day, everyone. How many of you know that the new moon in astrology is the best time to manifest? It's the best time to do your law of attraction, or it's the best time to take a step in the right direction of your goals, your dreams, your bucket list, your vision boards. It's, it's the time when the new moon energy is leafy and ripe. Because why? The sun and the moon and the earth are in alignment and the energy is really abundant and leafy that day. Leafy means vegetables that are the leafiest are planted during new moons. Leafy means a lot. We're not talking about one leaf of lettuce. We're talking about a whole head of lettuce, lots of leaves, leafy, leafy, new moons, new blooms. We only have one new moon a month. So if you work with the law of attraction and manifestation and you're not working with the new moon, I encourage you to start doing it. Sure, you can manifest any day you want. Of course you can. But what if you have a tight schedule? And you only have 30 days to pick one day, which is the best day to work with the new moon. What day are you going to go with? What day are you going to work with to manifest? I'm working with the new moon. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. This new moon in Cancer is July 9th, 2021. Because why is this new moon in Cancer? Because we are in Cancer season. And why is this new moon extra fertile? Because this is the moon's favorite, favorite sign. The moon loves cancer. She loves it. This is where she is the most fertile in cancer. The new moon in cancer is only once a year. So this new moon in cancer is over with until 2022. So besides the new moon, great times, I'm sorry, besides the new moon being a great time for manifesting and praying and chanting and taking a step and just using the energy in a positive way, where else is this new moon igniting your natal char? For the day. That's right. Anybody with cancer rising? This new moon's igniting you, your personality on the 9th of July. Are you competing that day? Are you doing an athletic event? Are you running a marathon? Do you have to just be out at a party looking good and your body's looking hot? The 9th of July is your spot. It's true. What about those of you who are cancer midheavens? The 9th of July, with this new moon in Cancer, is igniting you and your career. Do you have to audition? Do you have to be seen? Are you doing a big presentation? Do you want people to pay attention to you? Are you going to ask for a raise? Are you trying to improve your presentation skills? Are you trying to improve your reputation? You know how some people in the public eye, their reputation gets a little tarnished, and then they kind of go undercover for a little bit. Nobody sees them. Then all of a sudden, there they are. Well, if you were famous and you were working with me, and you had a new moon in Cancer, I would say the day for you to bloom and show the world yourself is on the 9th of July because you're a Cancer midheaven, okay? What about those of you who are in a hot, heated, romantic relationship and you want to get engaged or you want to be proposed to or you want to get married or you want to renew your vows, or you want to go on a romantic date, the 9th of July, that Cancer new moon is igniting you, your descendant. That's right. The sun and the moon are lighting up the sky 
for your relationships. To me, it's so romantic. What about those of you who are lawyers or attorneys or those of you who have to go to court? Anybody here in small claims court have to go to court for anything around just the normal happenings of life where you have to show up and go to court the 9th of July? 2021 is a great day for cancer descendants, especially. Great day for love, romance, contracts, going to court, showing the public who you are, selling, selling your items. Now, what about those of you who have cancer? I see. I see you there in the home life. The cancer new moon is really, really, really manifesting, manifesting, igniting your home life, your family, your relationships with your family, where you live, where you want to live, the food you make, the love you have in your family unit is ignited on the new moon in Cancer, July 9th, because it's igniting your I see in cancer. To work the best with new moons, you need to know your angles. And if you're, for example, a Libra rising, which I know a lot of you are, your cancer midheaven is on the spotlight July 9th for a career. Okay? And so know your angles, what's north, what's west, what's east, what's south. This Cancer New Moon will not be back until 2022. This is a leafy new moon. This is when they plant the leafiest vegetables into the soil. Because leafy, leafy new moons are abundant new moons. It's when they're fertile. It's like, let's do this. You've got the sun, the moon, and the earth all in alignment, in perfect harmony New moons, new blooms, new beginnings, manifestation. If you don't do anything on any other day, but you work with the law of attraction and manifestation, do it on a new moon. And July's is going to be the 9th of July, 2021. The universe is abundant. There is enough to go around. Plant those seeds. Step out into the world on this new moon in Cancer those of you who know it's hitting your natal astrology chart. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.